At a time when kids across the state would normally be in track and field comes a story about a cross-country runner who went the extra mile for a competitor. It's a story Boyd Hooper did back in 2016. And when he decided to check in on these racers today, he discovered a bond that's still going strong even amid a worldwide pandemic. Rock, paper, scissors, who's starting with the ball? From first grade Let's get started right away, guys. to crossing a high school stage. Go, go, go! Children are taught to follow the rules. I don't know how to pass it. Gracie Booker Ugh. is glad at least one person knew Ow. how to break them. Try again, run, try again! Last year is a seventh grader. Gracie finished just two runners back from a trip to the state cross-country meet. Everyone was like, you're going to make it next year, and I was pretty excited. Number 744 was still excited at the start of this year's section meet, till Gracie sensed early in her race something wrong. And I realized I was falling behind, and I was like, I'm not wanting this hard enough. I have to keep fighting for it. Fast forward now to the finish line. Gracie, just coming into view, is in trouble. And the Wyndham girl's really struggling. I just couldn't feel anything. And I, I did not want to fall. I was I just wanted to cross the finish line. But then this. Gracie pulls herself up. She's she's falling. She's trying to finish. And uh, there's a sight here. And then bad gets worse. Excruciating. Gracie's mother watched it all. Was told you can't go out, you can't go out, and people were screaming, you can't touch her, you can't touch her. You can't touch her! You can't touch her! It's a high school cross-country rule. Oh my God. A rule that meant Gracie would continue to struggle alone. You want to help them, but yet you know that if you go out to help them, they're automatically disqualified. I just wanted somebody to do something. Gracie's somebody is about to arrive. And her body just gave out on her. The mystery runner, to Gracie at least, is wearing the colors of Mountain Lake. You're with me. I've got you, she told Gracie. There's nothing better than that. So she was like, like my angel that day. Then Gracie's angel all but carried her across the finish line. It was so instinctual on her part. She didn't, she didn't stop and look to somebody or listen to the people that were saying, don't touch her, don't touch her. It was like she knew she saw somebody in trouble and she made that decision to help her. And in doing so, broke the rules. I don't really remember deciding to do that. It just happened. Senior Liana Blumgren in her final high school race was, like Gracie, disqualified. Especially her senior year and her last race. It just means like everything to me. I don't remember what place I was in the section meet last year. I don't remember what place I was in the section meet the year before that, but I know that I'm gonna remember this. Gracie's falls were linked at the emergency room to an undiagnosed case of mono. Can't touch her! Can't touch her! I don't believe there's another sport that, that an athlete would be allowed to be on the field in that condition. And it took an 18 year old girl to step in and, and help. The flowers were the first arrival at Mountain Lake High School. It was just thanks for being my angel. The second was even more personal. Because I got her DQ'd. So I better, I figure I better do it again. There's no denying. Hi. Hey. Gracie's angel. Thank you. Broke the rules. <laughs> it's just that Liana yeah. didn't forget. Thank you. Hey, yeah, no problem. The most important rule is gold. She was definitely a miracle for me. After that story first aired in 2016, it spread literally around the world. And with Gracie and Liana both at home right now, we thought, what a great time to check in. Well, hi, Gracie and Liana. So good hey. to see you both. Where are you now in school? Uh, I'm a junior in college now at the College of St. Scholastica. I'm a junior at Wendemaria Schools still. What have you been up to? Prior to this whole COVID outbreak, um, I was in track and cross country and choir at college. Track season, of course. Um, yeah, so I was looking forward to doing some tougher training and stuff. Are the two of you still in contact? We have a Snapchat streak that started um, the winter after this whole story kind of aired. It's over a thousand days now. 
And then every once in a while, we get the chance to meet up in person again, and we usually go grab a bite to eat or something like that. Yeah, it's been really cool. What was the aftermath of that story airing? I just remember being very overwhelmed by the amount of people that saw it. I saw it um, all over the, like, the internet, on like ESPN. It's not every day that a member of one team will lend a helping hand to an opponent. Yeah, there was one from Fox Sports. And even got a call from Ellen. I remember one letter was addressed to cross-country runner Mountain Lake, Minnesota, and it ended up in my locker, so... I also got a whole packet of letters from a fifth grade class in Florida. Well, I got a box from Dairy Queen. Uh, I have the gift card. It was $50. They also gave us a shirt. It's just like a... Gracie, you, you made it to state in 2018. And, and this past fall I did as well. Liana, when you heard that Gracie had made state. Yeah, absolutely, I was gonna be there. The koala bear. I had a stuffed koala bear, and on the bear there was a little tag that said, congrats on qualifying for state. And she originally hit me with that DQ pun, so I decided that I needed to give her a pun back. Can't touch her! The rules have now been changed, correct? Okay, so in our scenario, I wouldn't be disqualified, but Gracie still would be. Good change in the rule? For sure. It's all turned out pretty well. Definitely looking back, everything that's happened since then and everything positive in my life that's come about just because of this, I definitely wouldn't trade any of it. Same for me. Thank you. It's been thank you. so nice seeing you. Yeah, thank you so much. It's been good seeing you too, Boyd. Wow, how cool was that? We'll be back again next Sunday night with another check-in from the land of 10,000 stories. Well, J.D., the rules are the rules until an 18-year-old shows you that they can be bent or even broken and changed. Exactly, and all for a good cause. That's